Of all the public benefit programs that are available, there's really only one that an individual that is a consumer of utility service can apply for, and that's the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP as it's known. This is a program that is run annually by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Public Welfare. It's a situation where federal dollars and state dollars are put together, and oftentimes two types of grants are given to utility consumers. Those would be what are referred to as cash grants. Those cash grants will vary from county to county and from consumer to consumer based upon A, what county they're located in, B, the source of the heating that is being provided to the utility consumer, and the amount of the individual or family's income. Those are the three factors that will determine just how much in a cash grant will be given to a household in order to help them. The other type of grant that's available is what is known as the crisis grant. This is an amount of money that will be given. Oftentimes it's a flat amount and it's being given for the purposes of assisting the family or the household from holding off a termination of services. The program, however, is run annually. It oftentimes begins in November of one calendar year and carries over to the end of March over the following one. This program cycle oftentimes overlaps the same period where utilities would have a moratorium and would be prohibited from terminating services during the course of some of the coldest months of the year in Pennsylvania. It's important every year to check to make sure that you in fact qualify based upon your household's income for LIHEAP. If you received a LIHEAP grant in the past, whether it was cash or crisis, you automatically be notified and sent a new form every year by the Department of Public Welfare. Always make sure that you check your mail to see that they in fact have received it and if they haven't they can always contact the Department of Public Welfare and ask that an application for LIHEAP be sent to them. If a tenant or a consumer finds themselves in a position where they're unable to make their payments, oftentimes they have the option of asking that the utility company sets up what is known as a CAP or Customer Assistance Program. They'll oftentimes go by different names depending upon the utility that's providing the service in which the tenant or the utility consumer needs to help. This is a situation where what will occur is the following. The outstanding balance that is owed by the consumer will be frozen. That's not going to absolve them of the responsibility of paying for it, but it will allow them to continue to receive service in the following way. The consumer can use all of the electric, gas, or other services provided as much as they need. However, they will have a fixed payment that will be paid based upon a percentage of their income, and that amount of money will continue to allow them to pay off a new balance every month in addition to keeping their service going. The key thing to remember is that the consumer tenant needs to make sure that they don't miss any payments or are not late on any payments. Oftentimes the utility is in a position that if a client or a consumer turns around and misses or is late on two payments, they can terminate the CAP program and then begin the process of terminating the entire service for the utility. So it's very important that the, the consumer and the tenant knows what the pro program provides for and they participated to the best of their ability.